Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how to install Redis Server on Ubuntu 20.04. To get started, on your Ubuntu operating system, open up a terminal and then simply run the command sudo apt. Now this is going to update the list of all the apt packages. Meanwhile, what you can do is that you can click the link in the description box to come to this blog post which is a step-by-step -step guide on how to install Redis Server on Ubuntu. And throughout this tutorial, I will be using the commands which are listed on this blog post. Now once the APT packages have been installed, the next step is to actually install the Redis Server. Now to do that, we need to install the prerequisites. For that, simply head over to the blog post, copy all of these commands, paste them inside the terminal after using a sudo command and then hit enter. Now, after installing all the dependencies, add the Redis official repository with this command. So copy that command, paste it inside the terminal after using a sudo command and then hit enter. Now, if you are prompted by this notice, then simply hit enter and it is going to add the repository. Now, once that is done, you need to again update the apt list. So simply type in the command sudo apt update and then hyphen y and hit enter. After that, you can install the Redis server. So for that, simply type in the command sudo apt install redis hyphen server and then also add in the flag hyphen y so you do not have to go for the confirmation message and then simply wait for the installation process to fully complete once that is done the next step is to actually configure the redis server so for that simply type in the command sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash redis and then forward slash redis dot conf for configuration and then hit enter now within this file what you're going to do is that you're going to simply uncommit the line which says supervised system md. To search for this line, simply press Ctrl and W and then type that in supervised system D and then hit enter. After that, simply exit from this file and then restart the service of Redis server. So for that, simply type in sudo systemctl restart redis hyphen server. After that, you can verify the Redis server status using the command sudo systemctl status redis hyphen server. So you can see that it is in the running state. Now once that is done, the next step is to actually connect with redis cli. For that, open up a terminal and then simply type in redis hyphen cli. So you can see that it is running on local host and the port number is 6379. So if I were to run a basic command like ping, it would reply to my command with pong. We can also run some other commands. For example, we can use the set command and set the key name as server colon name and pass it as Ubuntu. Once the value has been set, it returns us the OK message. And in the next command, we're going to get the server name. So we're going to use the get command, then server colon name, and it returns us the server name, which is Ubuntu. And if you want to exit from this Redis CLI, simply type the exit command. Anyways, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. In case you want to deploy the Redis server on cloud hosted platforms such as Azure, AWS and Google Cloud, then simply check out the videos linked in the description box. Other than that, if you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below and we will get to you as soon as possible. And if this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.